Hello and welcome to Weekend Projects. I'm Bree Pettis, your host, and every week we bring you a project that you can make over the weekend. This weekend, we're going to make a rodent-powered nightlight. And this project is actually in make number six, so it wouldn't hurt to have that in front of you as we're doing this. Electricity has a magnetic field that goes perpendicular to it. So if this is our coil, or any wire, and there's electricity running through it, there's a magnetic field sticking out all around it like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a magnet represented by this cookie here and we're going to run this magnet over these coils around in a circle so it goes over it a bunch. Now that's going to stimulate the electrons in the coil and it's going to make them move and when they move it's electricity. The first thing you need is a wheel and I went to the pet store to do some reconnaissance to find out which kind of rodent would work best for our nightlight. The rats were sleeping, the hamsters were bored, but the mice, they were running on this wheel like nobody's business. All right, let me catch you up on what I've done so far. First thing I did is I made a ring with magnets on it. I first tried a jar lid, that didn't work. Then I tried a sink strainer, and that was very frustrating. And then I found a shower strainer that was perfect because it was steel, so the, the magnets actually stuck to it. And it was exactly the right size, four inches and a quarter across, so that it would fit right on there. Then I made the coils. And these coils are made out of sewing bobbins. And I did that because it just made a lot of sense and it was really, it turned out to be the easiest solution. And I did this by hand first and then uh, I got sick of that and so I went ahead and I used my Makita and fired that up and that made it go a lot faster. Then I mounted them on here and so they were as close as I could get and still have it work. And right now there's three and actually it took a little bit of fussing with the electrical tester because um, you have to have them all the right way so I did one and tested it and that worked and then I did the other one and that didn't work so I had to flip it over and reconnect the wires in a different way. So there are a couple different variables here that you have to mess with to make it work. Now I've got three on here, and you can see if I spin this, the light actually goes on. But you have to spin it pretty fast, so I need to go ahead and add, I've made three more here, and I want to add these on so that I can get more power out of this mouse wheel. With the addition of three more coils, this rodent-powered nightlight now easily generates the two volts necessary to light up the LED. Now it's interesting, this generates alternating current, AC, which is current that goes back and forth between positive and negative. And the LED only likes it when electricity comes from one direction. So when I spin it, it actually blinks instead of being lit up all the time. So what's missing once you've made the rodent-powered nightlight? The rodents! I got the two sweetest mice in the universe. I've got Sarah here, who's been asleep since I got her. And I've got Annika over there, who's very athletic and has been an electricity generating fiend ever since I put her in here. She's been ramping up that mouse wheel, making that LED blink. They're both very cute. Now, you don't need mice to generate electricity. You could use your bicycle or the power of water turning a wheel or wind or any other number of possibilities. Go out there, find a way to do it yourself, and make sure to report back and let us know by either putting a picture of it in the Make Flickr pool or sending me an email at brie at makezine.com. All right, you've watched another Weekend Projects. I'm Brie Pettis from Make Magazine. Have a great weekend.